For the most part, if your data is findable, accessible and interoperable, it will be reusable. The OR of FAIR is like a final checklist. Is your metadata sufficient? Does it fully support and contextualize the data or research objects? Have you ensured that your data is associated with its provenance? Is the origin and attributes and changes in the data or research object over its life cycle documented and established? Again, this is information which should be part of your metadata and documentation. Have you complied with the relevant community standards where they exist? One aspect of FAIR which I haven't yet mentioned is legal interoperability. What usage rights should you attach to your data? If you don't attach or assign a usage license to your research data or object when you share it, the legal assumption is that all rights have been reserved. For your data to be FAIR, a license which is as open as possible is preferred. Open licenses allow others to use, share and build upon your research outputs. Some restrictions may be needed, but the most important thing is to be explicit about how others can reuse your work by including a clear and unambiguous license statement in the object's metadata. In most cases, when you deposit your data into a repository, you will be prompted to assign a license. Creative Commons is a free, simple and standardised way to allow the reuse of research data. It is the most commonly used license framework for research data, and it allows a creator to choose from and combine different restrictions on reuse, or even indicate that there are no restrictions on reuse. There are also other types of licenses available. For example, MIT license is most commonly used for sharing software and code. For more information about licensing, please consider the following resources from the Digital Curation Centre and Open Air, the links to which are in the recommended reading list associated with this video. Thank you for listening.